Hi everyone, this is Nona again from the Aligned Lover. I have another Kibi style video for you today on Soft Classic with Marion Cotillard as the example. Before we get into it, quick announcement. I am now offering two services for personal attention. I have an in-depth service where I make a video akin to these videos I've been putting out and I will go into your body type, go through the quiz questions, and give commentary on multiple looks, photos, outfits that I request. It is all in the description. I will link it below. The second service is a shorter condensed version of that. It's written. It's much more helpful in a short way. There's less commentary and insight. It's more for quick ideas and um, you know trying to just align yourself without getting in too much detail or specificity so i'll link those below and if you have any questions on them please feel free to email me at the aligned lover at gmail.com so let's get into soft classic so soft classic it's balanced symmetrical but it's a little wider there's that young romantic undercurrent it's a little bit more full smooth rounded there's a width to it a softness softness <laughs> there's a lushness to it and it's quite a delicate gibby type in my opinion the specific balanced delicate beauty of the soft classic is very easy to overwhelm so that's why i want to go over the good looks first so that you can kind of tune into what makes it so special and then you can really see why the less helpful looks don't work as well so let's get started first of all i really really want to hammer in on how little soft classics need to try to look sexy if you only deviate a little bit from the soft classic friendly look which is well-groomed, smooth, shaped, set hair, very clean, neat, tidy lines, and flowing, soft, fitted but not clingy fabrics and cuts. You just deviate a little bit towards a little bit more sultry, a little bit more disheveled. You will get that sultry look. Like here, her makeup is all classic friendly. Same intensity and contrast with the eyes and lips. Um, the cheeks are softly contoured, nothing will not be done. The hair, there's a lot of that soft, smooth, rounded, set shape in it, but it's just a little bit windswept, just a little bit tousled. Um, and just like the pose, it's just, <laughs> it's not even overtly sexual or, or sexy or sultry, but still on the soft classic, little deviations, huge impact. So uh, for less sultry look, I really want to hammer in the beauty of the soft classic. The eyes and the lips have the same intensity. It's that kind of um, layered on, blotted off, layered on, blotted off look. Not quite watercolor, but it's not super saturated. And then the cheeks just come alive. They're just lightly dusted and slightly shaped so you do get that that flush of color along the fullness of their cheeks which really highlights the fullness and the width of the face and then you also get the clean softly rounded curved eyebrows here it looks very neat and precise without looking severe and that is the beauty of the soft classic that precision without severity it's like a soft specificity and it just looks so fresh and so so balanced, so healthy. So this is a great example of a more springy, less sultry, less autumn-y soft classic look. And the hair, very soft classic friendly. It's not super symmetrical, it doesn't have to be, but it has that soft, smooth shape to it. It's groomed. This is definitely a groom style. It's not like that super messy bob where you're just kind of like, oh, 
this is more like a, oh, you combed it, and then you kind of went like this, but you combed it again. So here again, I just want to hone in on the sultry factor again. You don't need to try too hard. Um, her hair is completely pulled back, and she, and still she looks very sultry in it because you have that slight deviation with the, the spidery lashes, a little drama there, and then you have that soft contouring all throughout the cheeks, and then the eyes, and then the lips are just in a, a shade that really brings out their shape and their fullness. It's there, it's all laid out, and it's beautiful. It's like looking at a nicely sculpted stone statue. It's just sensual in the right lighting without having to add too much to it. So here I want to go over how nice and clean this look is, but I also want to go over how Pop Classics need to be careful with their hair length because sometimes longer hair just really overwhelms the Soft Classics look. It's such a balanced look, it's both horizontally and vertically that you really don't want to weigh down your your facial area with super long hair. Here it's kind of like getting a little too long in my opinion. It's kind of di distracting from her face. It's kind of taking the attention away from here because when you look at the soft classic what your eye does it, it follows the paths of their bone structure and you know that symmetrical softness but here with the hair causing your your eyes path to kind of go down like little waves and that's not where the beauty is so be mindful of that here I just want to go over how symmetrical their makeup can be um, it doesn't overwhelm them she has dark fairly dark eyeshadow and lipstick and it is it's bold it's shimmery eye-catching colors, but it still looks very clean and neat because it's the same intensity and it's still subdued on her because it's been applied in a way that respects the, the contours of her face. It doesn't hide anything. It just really brings out her natural shapes of her eyes and her lips. It doesn't do too much overdrawing and it doesn't, you know, do too much blunt contouring. It respects the, the natural topography of her face, and so she doesn't get overwhelmed. Here, I want to talk about overwhelm. Beautiful, soft, classic, friendly um, makeup, except for the, the eyebrows, the soft classics. The eyebrows need to be on point, <laughs> okay? The little <laughs> deviations in the eyebrow shape really make a huge difference on the soft classic. Everything is amplified on classics. I, It's just the easiest way to describe them. Everything is amplified because they're so balanced, so everything shows more. So here, if you want to go back, her eyebrows are much more full here. Her eyebrows are perfect here. They're perfectly rounded and shaped here. Me here, there's looking a tiny bit sparse along the arches and it's giving a, a sort of sharpness to her, her eyebrows that kind of hides that curve of her face. Anyways, hair is very soft, classic friendly. Let's just talk about the, the outfit. Um, it, it's really easy for the soft classic to be overwhelmed, I like lingerie kind of reminiscent clothing. You don't need it. Leave it to the theatrical romantics <laughs> to pull that off. Uh, it just doesn't look as, as sexy and sultry as as this dress that seems a little bit more conservative and less sexy. It's just, it's just not very fitting. It's it, it looks like you're trying too hard. So be mindful of that. Here is a beautiful soft classic dress. Great medium fabric, gentle tapering. It's a nice fitted waist without being clingy. You have the balance of the shoulders and the sleeves that go slightly outwards. And then the, the bottom hem of the dress looks very balanced. 
gorgeous color on her. The makeup, you know, it's pretty balanced. Not the biggest fan of the hair, but it's just like the outfit. It's hard to get completely perfect look on, on a lot of these celebrities. It's hard to find something that's a perfect example. Um, so let's just ignore the hair. Everything else looks, you know, it's very good on the soft plastics, not overwhelming at all. You just kind of see her body in the dress and it really flatters her. She's wearing the dress, the dress is not wearing her. The makeup is not wearing her. Hair might be wearing her a little bit. Here, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So again, as I was saying, there's a soft precision here. The soft classic can pull off the middle part, this, the very, very hard to pull off middle part with a slicked back hair and make it look fresh, make it look effortless, casual almost. It doesn't look too much on them. It looks so easy on them, which is hard for a lot of other types to pull off because it's, it's just so symmetrical. <laughs> So um, I just really wanted to point that out. Makeup is nice, light, balanced. You know, the texture of her skin looks beautiful here with a slight flush of the cheeks. It really brings out her bone structure. You look at her cheekbones, her bone structure, you look here. I have this theory that soft classics, classics in general, but uh, a lot more soft classics because they have a little bit more fullness, have very, very attractive I think it's called zygote muscles. Um, that's just a theory, and I'll have to <laughs> look into it more. Um, same picture from before. I just wanted to show you the color version um, because, believe it or not, sometimes it's easier to look at contrast of that colors. Um, so this one might be a little softer. It's just as alluring. Um, yeah, just the soft classic. Don't try too hard and you'll look sultry if you just kind of play on the autumn-y darker side and just maybe make your makeup just a little less precise and neat, your hair just a little less smooth and groomed, and you'll look um, scandalous. Just kidding. you look very sexy. And here, I just want to talk about playing on symmetry. Soft classic, you don't really have to stick with super symmetrical, you know, like slightly off Balance is great too, um, but she plays with symmetry while well here. There's a lot of rounded shapes to break up the vertical symmetry. The pockets do a great job of adding a little bit of balance and contrast. The sleeves and the pockets kind of balance out the severity of the vertical line in the middle. Um, so we want to talk about um, yeah, the symmetry of this outfit. You just don't need to always stick to symmetry. but if you do, feel free to break it up. So let's just talk about what's not working. I didn't even recognize her in this one because her hair is just so different. So some classics, it's really hard for you guys to pull off like super bohemian, super trendy, balayage, ombre looks. I just, sorry about the construction. I've been trying to film this like five times. It's getting a little bit, I don't know when they stop. Um, kind of washes you out, it takes away from your symmetrical beauty because it draws attention away from your, your bone structure, your face, and it brings the attention to your hair and causes the broken vertical lines. And your eye travels along these um, lines that are even longer from the balayage, and it creates a tension and uh, a sort of artificial width wherever that contrast happens, which is kind of in a range here, and it takes away from your precise beauty. So careful with that. Also, this outfit, you don't really get to see much waist here at all. It's so relaxed. This is such a natural look. Like, uh, I could see a flamboyant natural or just a natural really rock in this outfit. It's more tomboy chic. Um, here, you would think that this would work for soft classic because you have the hair parted in the middle, the dress is simple, it's symmetrical, you know, it has that very classic silhouette to it, the makeup is 
balanced. But let's talk about why it doesn't work. So the hair, it's not groomed. It's not really groomed. It's more of a loose, romantic wave. It's dreamy. It's whimsical. It's not shaped. It's not set. That's why it looks a little off, especially you can see in the back in the mirror, the back of the hair. Just, it looks a little too like, ah, romantic. I'm a mermaid. Um, which is not the best look for soft classics. Eyebrows looking a little sparse here. Um, and um, that really detracts. And then when, when the soft classic doesn't get the top part right, it's really hard to see the beauty of the rest of the body. Soft classics, like y'all have a hard, um, a hard role here when you get it right oh you get it so right but you have to get it right or else you kind of become invisible okay so here is a case of the soft classic being overwhelmed too much print a little too sorry a little too avant-garde asymmetrical i don't know what's going on with the shorts um and oh, the shoes don't really do any justice there's no classic silhouette, no classic pattern, print, fabric here. She's overwhelmed by this, and that's that sucks. It just looks like her head got pasted onto this dress. It just looks so separate from her. See so here, you know, she's looking more fresh. A little bit more like a soft classic, but again, I think that soft classics just look so much better with groomed, set hair. And this is more of, you know, a natural, maybe even a theatrical romantic kind of hairstyle. It's just a little casual, and it kind of detracts from the soft classics' beauty. Um, this is a very soft, natural look, really. And uh, it doesn't really bring out her unique beauty. So here, um, this is a very dramatic, soft, dramatic, friendly dress, in my opinion, or theatrical, romantic. And in my opinion, she's just a little overwhelmed here. It looks like she's in a period piece or wearing a costume. It doesn't look like something she would wear, even if it's a fancy event, you know, it just looks a little separate from her. It doesn't look modern enough. It looks a little bit more art deco, baroque. Um, and it just it looks a little separate. Soft classics have this, um, this problem where they can't look too trendy and too modern, but they can't look too antique, too to period PC. It's it's a delicate balance, a delicate placement. Again here, um, just the hair. It's very romantic -y, you know. Is that like soft physical uh, running through the fields into the arms of your lover kind of hairstyle and it kind of takes away from her. If you just like put that that ponytail in a bun and got it away from from her face you would just look at her face and it would work so much better and here's the soft classic getting overwhelmed again um this is such a a dramatic look this, this would look great on like tilda swinton you know and the hair is very um flamboyant, natural, or just natural. It's like that casual, tussled, tomboy chic kind of hair. And uh, I hope you can see why it overwhelms her now that we've gone through it a bit. And here, again, the soft classic gets lost. The hair isn't just right, you know, it needs to be framing that beautiful, delicate face, and the eyebrows need to be in the right shape, shading, hue, and form, or she kind of gets lost. So I know we talked 
a lot about hair and makeup in this example of soft classic. I'll do more soft classic videos where I focus more on the outfits, but Marion is such a good example of hair and makeup needing to be done correctly. And when it's done correctly, it's so impactful and it's so powerful. But when it's not, you can really see why the soft classic needs to be very, very, very cognizant of their makeup and hair choices. They have that face that just needs to be treated with a delicate thoughtfulness to really shine. It's like one of those those beautiful statues it needs to be sculpted well. You have to show off that beautiful flesh in a precise but soft, sober way with the right lighting. It's, it's a specific beauty. So I hope that was helpful. I'll do more on soft classics. I just find them so interesting to look at. But please let me know if you have any questions, um, any requests for certain celebrities that you want me to do examples of. And again, I am offering personal consultations. I'll link it below. It'll take you to the URL. Please read it and then email me before buying. It says so on the, the side. I just want to make sure everything is clear so we don't get into confusion and we don't waste time by me asking for more pictures and more pictures. So I'll see y'all later.